Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Seton Hall Prep is brought to you by One on One with Steve Adubato. There's no other way to put it. Seton Hall Prep shocked North Jersey last season with a stellar 8-2 record, their best finish since 2012. And after one of the best seasons in the last decade, it sure looks like the Pirates know what it takes to succeed. You know, it shows that, you know, our players are buying into what the coaches are preaching. And, you know, it's, you know, a cliche that you hear now in football. It's about the process. Well, well they're taking that to heart. We built the culture the last couple of years, and now we're kind of starting at a better place. And we're just got to keep getting better. And everything we do from this point on is just going to keep making us better. And while the prep are in phase three of preseason workouts, it was on the players to be in shape for the upcoming season. Quarantined virtual workout sessions were the norm for a team trying to stay on top. Even even in off season, even during that uh, that quarantine period, everybody was working really hard, really hard in virtual workouts, virtual zooms, and we want to show them our hard work and uh, the team what what kind of team we're about. We just put in so much work during the off season, like PJ said, with the zoom meetings and the zoom workouts. We've just been grinding, and I mean, it's going to show during the season. Seton Hall Prep's truncated schedule is no walk in the park. They scored marquee wins over Del Barton, St. Joe's, Pope John, and PC last fall, while DePaul was the only regular season loss. Add perennial Group 5 contender Union City into the mix, and you have one heck of a schedule. Last year's team was able to run and gun while playing stingy defense. And while this year's squad might be a bit younger, key contributors are still on the roster. Jack Larson takes over as the lead dog on the defensive line, as well as tight end. Larson routinely made clutch grabs last season that sparked come from behind wins. Jai Jenkins will be another key two-way player, serving as a top target on O, as well as a lockdown DB. Fans can also look to Aeneas Robinson and P.J. Penders as seniors sliding into starting roles on both sides. It's a great environment. It's a fun environment. Uh, it is uh, an up-tempo practice daily, and you, know, you can tell that the kids enjoy being around each other. The prep know they'll come to play every single week. The only difference this year, it won't be a surprise to the rest of the state. We're not sneaking up on anybody anymore. And, you know, that's what, what the message was in the offseason. And they be, better be ready to go. We better be ready to go because we know that other teams aren't going to take us lightly anymore. Reporting from West Orange, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.